I just wanted to uh, show you a quick video of um, how I use uh, palettes within Campsits. I think uh, palettes is one of the most important things you can use when you program in a show um, and it saves a lot of headaches a lot further on down the line uh, and basically streamlines your programming. Um, so what you can see here is a, a show that I've built up for the purposes of demonstrating a few little things within Campsits. Um, and what I've gone ahead and done is arranged everything in my group window um, so I know how to quickly access everything that's on the rig um, for the sake of quick programming. Um, for instance, I've got all the pointies, all the pointies on the middle truss. You can see here, and then I've got the other fixtures laid out in a very similar fashion. So all the, all the sharpies, but then I've got all the, all the uh, sorry, the sharpie washes, all the all the guards, all the mids, all the fronts, and so on and so forth. Um, and basically the way I've built up my show um, is using these groups and selecting these and then giving each one of these groups a number of positions um, so I can quickly for instance click on the mini pointies let's turn them on so you can see what's going on click on the mini pointies and I say I want to quickly fan them out I'll hit that palette because I've already pre-programmed that position palette now I'll show you how to do that very quickly um, let's get the front shot for instance. So I've made this group out of the front sharpies which you will see are these four here. What I've done is clicked on all of these. You can click more than one. One, press shift, two, three, four. Go back to groups, hit record, front shift sharpies. Yes, if you want to rename that, um, hit yes, you can press set, click back on it and you can rename that, but I don't need to. So yeah, as I said, uh, so that's how I've got that group there. So um, I can do the very, very much the same thing um, with the positions. So if I want to locate them, bring them out so they're into the audience a bit. Let's pan them up tilt, you know. Right. So let's record that as a position. Right. So I'd that information is now in the program, so I'd hit record and then put it on one of these empty palette in the position. So that's now recorded that information that was in the programmer about the uh, position, so only the position information, was recorded onto this palette for quick reference. Um, now what I've done here is made a, a quick, very quick scene out of the, the pointies and a couple of sharpies used in palettes. Now the reason that you use palettes is that if you've got a queue stack of 100 queues, all with uh, all not made up out of position palettes, all just made, out of, made up out of DMX information from the pan and tilt and uh, the, the colour values essentially. Well, if you want to make any changes, you'd need to make individual changes to individual fixtures or individual groups on each queue. So if you've got a queue stack of 100 queues, you'd have to go through every single one of those queues and edit it. But using the palettes makes that process so much simpler. If you If you're uh, programmer is referencing the palette information as opposed to just the pan and tilt information you can change the palette information for instance the uh, sharpies I think the the mid truss sharpies they're in this fun position here but if I wanted to change that I could just hit position change their position slightly and record over that palette so now that queue information, I haven't recorded anything to that queue stack, I've recorded the information to this palette. If I hit clear, that information in this queue stack is referencing that palette, which is telling the fixtures now to be in that. So anything that is in this queue stack or any of the other queue stacks that is referencing this palette is now telling it to do that. And it saves you a lot of time. Anyway. There's going to be a lot more little videos and little snippets coming up like this. If you hit that subscribe button and uh, give me comments for anything that you want to know, I'll, be my, I'll do my best to answer any questions. Uh, if you don't think I was very clear and concise, tell me and I'll do my best to improve. And I will see you on my next video.